Scientists have successfully brought back genetically engineered wolves that resemble the extinct dire wolf, sparking both awe and controversy. It's an astonishing feat of genetic engineering, but should we be playing God, as it has been said? Take a look. They ruled the Ice Age. Now they're back. Scscientists have revived the legendary dire wolf and apex predator. Unseen for 13,000 years is back. It's not a fantasy. It's not fiction. It's happening right now. These are the Romulus and Remus having DNA that biotechnology company. Colossal Biosciences says closely resemble that of the extinct dire wolf. So, Yes, they have slightly genetically modified wolves, maybe. Um, and that's probably the best that you're going to get. And those slight modifications seem to have been derived from retrieved dire wolf material. Does that make it a dire wolf? No. Does it make a slightly modified gray wolf? Yes. <laughs> and that's probably about it. These wolves were larger and more robust than their modern relatives, the gray wolves. They roamed across the Americas before extinction wiped them out around 9,500 years ago. Colossal's team extracted ancient DNA from fossils, including a 13,000-year-old tooth found in Ohio and a 72,000-year-old skull fragment from Idaho. To de-extinct something would be to bring that evolutionary lineage back into existence, and that would cause a gap where if that, that species was, there's a gap when it isn't, and now that species exists again. What they've done is use genetic engineering to make a gray wolf superficially, superficially resemble a dire wolf, or at least what we think dire wolves might have looked like, because we're not really sure what that is either. These three genetically engineered wolves are now trotting, sleeping, and howling in an undisclosed secure location in the U.S., according to the company that aims to bring back lost species. But not everyone is celebrating. Ecologists and ethicists are sounding alarms about tampering with evolutionary history. Reintroducing extinct species, they argue, could disrupt delicate ecosystems already under stress from human activity and climate change. There's also the question of what comes next. If dire wolves return, will mammoths follow? Saber-toothed tigers? What safeguards, if any, exist? Well, Colossal says it's just getting started. The company has plans to bring back the woolly mammoth by 2028, the age of resurrection. Science has begun sparking awe, fear, and fierce debate. What was once the domain of myth and fiction is now reality. However, the question is, what new foreign components are created in the genetic process? The concerns go well beyond ethical boundaries. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.